Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. In today's video, I will begin by showing a demonstration of the indicator working in a live market environment. If you see on the left hand of the screen, I've got a watch list set up and the watch list is set to a scan and that scan is running active in the watch list. The stock that I've selected now, DPS, has a EMA crossover. The same with the symbol MAC. The indicator is in the far right column of the watch list. If you look at the top, it's called EMAX for EMA crossover. So what this does is it displays either a zero or a one. The ones will show whenever a stock's current bar is above the 21 EMA, while the previous bar is below the 21 EMA. And you can see as we are looking at a live market that the indicator is changing as the bars are crossing the 21 EMA on the chart. So hopefully you find this a useful tool. It's pretty handy and you can customize it just as you want. And this is a great time to declare that I am not trying to suggest a trading system or a trading methodology. I'm not showing you how to buy or sell or recommending that you buy or sell any financial instrument. I'm merely showing you how you can customize your Thinkorswim platform to help you identify those things you're looking for. I'm not trying to tell you what to look for. And so the other thing that I will mention is that while the scan is running in the watch list, you will see symbols added and removed while the market is live. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to customize your own watch list and I'm going to link the code in the description of the video and I will explain that later on in the video. So stick around. I'll show you now how to go ahead and install that in your Thinkorswim platform. Okay, now that you've seen how the indicator behaves during market hours, I would like to show you how we put it together. Notice the bottom study on the daily chart on the right has got a study called Watch EMA X 21 for the input value. So that's a 21 period exponential moving average. And I put the word watch in front of it because that reminds me and helps me to organize things in my list of custom studies uh, that this study is applied to a watch list as you saw in the demonstration. We'll go to studies, edit studies, and then we will click the scroll icon for the Watch EMA X and I'll walk you through the code. Very simple. There's actually only one, two, three, four statements. These uh, texts in yellow, those are comments. They perform no action. It's simply there for descriptive purposes only. So first we declare an input. 21 is the default value. That's the EMA length. And then we use that EMA length here to define an exponential moving average and that's what the statement does right here. It's an exponential moving average of the close with a default value of 21 bars. And then we have a signal here that equals 1 if the previous bar's close is below the EMA value while the current bar close is above the EMA value. So walk you through it right here. We, we define a variable which is price cross above EMA and it's equal to when the previous close is less than the previous EMA value and the current close is greater than the current EMA value. Essentially what we're looking at is previous bar was under the EMA, current bar the close is above the EMA. It's a crossover. And lastly we take and plot the signal line that will equal a value of 1 when the condition is found or true zero if not found or false. So then that's basically all we've got for this indicator. It's very simple. Cancel that and we'll cancel this and we'll show you uh, over on our watch list it appears we have two stocks with an EMA cross so we'll select this one 
and you can see the indicator spikes from 0 to 1 and you can see that we had a close below the 21 EMA which is represented by the bold white line here and then we had a close just barely above looked like it gapped up at the open and then uh, settled down later in the day then we'll take a look at this other stock and you can see here another spike and we had uh, previous days close below the EMA and another closed uh, above the EMA. You can see a little bit of a zigzag occurred here. Okay, so let's see, how do we load this in the watch list so that it appears as a column? And then how do we set it so that the text and the background change color when the value changes from 0 to 1? We're going to show you all that in these next steps. The first step is to find your watch list. The symbol column is the one all the way to the left. Find that column and put your mouse cursor over the word symbol and right click with your mouse and it will bring up a shortcut menu. And then you want to select customize. Now customize is how you can add different columns to your watch list. There's very many that are provided by Thinkorswim and they also provide the ability to create your own customized columns. Now to filter by customized columns you select this drop down box and select custom quotes. If you've never created a custom column in a watch list before you will see a series of indicators, um, columns essentially, that have a default value and they're listed as column 01, 02, 03, 04 and so on. I forget exactly how many they provide but um, all you do to utilize one is you click the scroll and then you clear out the name and change it to something that you want to use and then you can go ahead and edit the column we're not going to cover any of these settings. You can explore that on your own because we will be working in the ThinkScript editor. And so let's say we wanted to plot the close and we wanted to call our custom column something. Then we'll hit apply and OK. And now you see that under our custom quotes, we've got a column called something. And the column called custom02 has disappeared. See, we've simply renamed it. So I'm going to undo that. Custom quotes. Okay, so I've created my own. It's called EMAX for EMA crossover. And it's essentially the code that was inserted down at the lower study in the daily chart on the right. By clicking the scroll icon, you open up the code editor and right here are simply the three statements and comments that I've already reviewed with you in the previous step. I've added a few extra lines down below that controls how the color changes on the watch list. This statement will tell the code that we want to change the background color and we want it to show white whenever the scan gives you a value greater than or equal to one and the final statement will change the value of the text. So this will show if the price crosses above the EMA, in other words if we get a signal uh, that is greater than or equal to 1, we will change the color of the text to black, otherwise it will remain white. Those two statements are what determine between these two lines the stock OVAS is white text with a black background and the symbol PODD shows a white background with a black text. That's done by those two statements right there. So essentially all we do is we copy and paste this data into our custom column and then we rename it. Remember yours will probably say custom 01. It will probably be your first customized column. If not, then just pick one of your other custom slots that are available. We get to select the aggregation period and for this example we want to definitely select daily but you can see you've got quite a wide range of other values to choose from. So then you hit apply and OK and what it will do is create this EMAX or however you named it, you may name it something different. 
but it will create that in your list of custom columns and then you can simply double click to add that to the right side pane. I don't need to add it twice so I'll go ahead and remove the duplicate. So you can see now step by step how I took the code, copied and pasted into a custom column and installed that as a custom column on my watch list. So that's pretty much it. I will show you a few more items here just to kind of whet your appetite for this idea and show you kind of what possibilities are available to you. For one, I want to explain this watch list is set to a scan. And this is a scan we created in a previous video. And this is a scan MACD Stochastic Weekly. I saved it so it is available from my personal symbol lists. And the scans appear with these little green, I guess they're dials, but they're green icons. And you can see down here I've got it set to scan MACD Stochastic Weekly. That's the scan we created in a previous video. What's great about that is, as you saw in the demo during the beginning of this video, is that you have a scan that you run all day long. It's live, continuous, and as you saw in the demo, you can have items added or removed as the signal comes and goes on a live bar. You know, as the bar uh, is, as the price is changing, as the current price is changing during a live market, if you have a scan that is uh, measuring a time frame that is affected by that price movement, then the list of stocks in the watch list will change as that scan continues to update. It's a live scan. So that's really handy if you're looking for something very specific. And I hope that you see the value in combining a scan, a live scan and a watch list, along with a custom column that gives you a visual interpretation of what's taking place with a price. And the sky's the limit. You just create your own stuff. The other thing I'd like to show you is I've got an indicator here that's based on the squeeze. Um, let's see, let me update the right hand chart. I'm going to edit studies and I'll take that watch list off. Let's go to John Carter's studies and we'll go to the squeeze, TTM squeeze, hit apply and OK. And as you can see, if we change this symbol here, now we're looking at BAC and you can see that for the custom columns in the watch list, we're seeing the weekly is a cyan while the daily is a dark blue. Now it's tough to see on that weekly, but you, you can tell by uh, hovering your mouse over that, that that value of the histogram is above the zero line and it is turned cyan. And uh, the previous bar is yellow. So we can go ahead and look at another one here. Let's say we'll look at Wells Fargo. And you can see the uh, watch list custom column is saying that the weekly and the daily are both blue and sure enough as we look at the chart they're blue so um, you know you can come up with your own using MACD, stochastic RSI color code them and you can create multiple time frames weekly daily 60 minute or you can do an intraday uh, you can do like 60 15 and 5 minute uh, you can set those up and uh, I'll show you once more um, how we do that, right click on symbol, select customize, and when you're creating your custom column, then you have your aggregation to select, and you'll have to create a separate custom column for each one. If you can scroll through my list of uh, custom quotes, you will see that I have many that are set up. Now, I put a W in front if it's a weekly, I put a D in front if it's a daily, and then basically what I'm showing you is I, I put the time at the leading edge of the um, name. That way it's easy for me to determine when I'm looking at my custom column which one is weekly, which one is daily. You know, I can tell the aggregation period just by a quick glance. Okay, hopefully I've whet your appetite for this and, uh, and I'm going to link the custom code for this EMAX. It's going to be linked and available in the description of the video and I hope that uh, this is something that really sparks your interest and gets you interested in experimenting with your own ideas. Uh, certainly this is not meant to be a trading system. I'm simply showing you how that you can customize your Thinkorswim platform and develop some highly specialized tools for your own trading. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hondashtech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks, and take care.